The entire world has been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic, and some countries have been particularly hit, in fact, harder than others. Each nation has had its own way of responding. So which countries got it right? Well, joining us is Chief Medical Officer at Los Angeles County USC Medical Center, Dr. Brad Spellberg. Dr. Spellberg, welcome. Thank you very much. So, Dr. Spellberg, tell me, how were some countries more prepared than others when the coronavirus hit? Some countries were actually forewarned 15, 16 years ago when the original SARS coronavirus struck out of China. And so countries that were in Asia were confronted by a virus that was actually much more deadly than the current virus on a per case basis. It just wasn't as transmissible. And they realized that they had dodged a major bullet. And so they began to invest in a public health preparedness program that would allow them to prevent the next great global pandemic should another one arise. And of course, there are other countries that, you know, small island countries that are having an easier time controlling their borders. And so they were able to contain the virus a little bit more easily. You just said the SARS coronavirus. Explain what do you mean by SARS? And so make it clear that people, it's not that we had COVID-19 before, but this is a coronavirus, but it's a new one. So explain the whole SARS-COVID relationship. Sure. Coronaviruses are just a family of viruses. There's many kinds of coronaviruses in nature. We've had them for thousands of years. They affect animals and people. In 2003, a particularly nasty strain of coronavirus called that caused a disease called severe acute respiratory syndrome broke out in China and began to spread across the globe. Now, it was not very transmissible, fortunately, but it killed nearly one in three people. It infected much higher death rates than we see from the current strain of coronavirus, which is called SARS-CoV-2 and causes this disease, COVID-19. But if SARS had been as transmissible as the current virus, the world would have seen the worst global pandemic of an infection since the Black Death of the Middle Ages. So let's start with which country got hit hard with the virus but was able to recover well. So I think, you know, there are several examples. We, for example, could look at Italy in Europe. And I think that many people in Italy initially felt that the new virus was similar to influenza, not that big a deal. There was no national effort to roll out early what is called containment, which is where you actually try to stop the virus at the initial stage so it doesn't spread through the population. They didn't do early testing. They didn't trace the contacts of the initial cases. They didn't isolate people. And so the virus was able to spread widely through the population, such that by the time the country really began to take it seriously, it was too late to stop, and its hospitals became overwhelmed. And what they were left with was phase two of pandemic preparedness, which is mitigation. Yeah, it's already spread. Maybe we could try to slow the spread at this point. Now, because the population was so hard hit and its hospitals were so overwhelmed, the public took it very seriously. And when the government instituted very draconian lockdown and physical distancing, that did allow people to get the virus under control because the public really listened to government and public health experts at that point. 